You know how last time I said it, it might be the first time that I won't clear the level in a segment? This one is definitely going to be like that. And here is why. 20 monkeys and a boss fight. You're supposed to catch Spectre. And the level does not end until you do. So, you can catch as many monkeys as you need to. And it's also an extremely large level. With the level that I used, for, I mean, with the music that I used for level 9 in Big Depth's Adventure 2. Which you probably won't be able to hear very well, but whatever. Not much I can do about that, because we have seen in many previous examples that playing the music too loudly causes the game to screw up, so whatever. Oh, come on. Okay, off to a good start. Oh, yeah, it doesn't show you how many monkeys you have. Every time you catch one, it just shows Spectre at the bottom. Okay, I was actually wanting to see what you said. Eh, whatever. Okay, so what do I want to do? Stun it then? Or... Um, okay, and go! <laughs> well, that worked well. At least he didn't get in the UFO. You know, I don't even remember that one ever getting in a UFO. Maybe it's just there for looks. And this song is not how I remember it to be. The instrumentation's all weird. Maybe it's the ROM, or maybe I just have a bad memory. I don't know. Could be both. Anyway, there's like a whole bunch of different ways to get in this castle, or at least two different ways. Uh, I'm not going to go in the waterfall, or the, whatever you want to call that. So, let's just head in the main entrance. If there's any other monkeys along the way, then, well, won't they be sorry, I guess. I don't know. Um, I know there's a hidden area behind it, though. Let's see if I can figure out what that is. Like, yeah, you just kind of shuffle your way over here, and then here's another monkey, which is going to run away and be a pain. And I'm probably going to fall off the cliff. Or maybe not. Did I already miss the Spectre coin? I th yeah, no, there it is. I knew there was one back here. Or at least I thought there was. No idea where any of the other ones are. I mean, there could be a lot more. There's only four in this level, and like I've said, the level is gigantic, so... I guess I won't have to do too much searching. I don't know. Can I get up there? No, it doesn't look like it. I mean, it kind of does look like it, but judging from previous experiences with making jumps that look like they should make it, uh, they never do. Fight the current! don't want to go back down there. I'm pretty sure if you go in that, like, drain pipe-ish area, it becomes a, like, dead end. I'm not positive, but I seem to remember that being the case. Okay, so anyway, I need five monkeys to get in this door. Uh, this way is a dead end for now, so I guess that leaves one way to go. Uh, what do these bells do? What the heck did you just do? Went in that tiny hole. And how do I get it out? I hear a monkey, but it might... I think there's one, like, above me with a gun. These bats are pissing me off. Oh, there he is. Bats, go away. I like how he's just shambling around. They tend to do that a lot. Oh, God. Sorry if the commentary is dull like always in this one. I'm trying to remember as much of this level as I can. Because I don't want to be missing a bunch of stuff, but I'm sure I will be anyway. And it's just going to end abruptly, too, because, like I said, I'm not going to be able to finish it all in one segment. That was great.
You know, this stupid, this super hoop thing really is annoying. It doesn't, it just makes you bounce off walls too much. Is there, yeah. Oh, that would have been up. pretty cool. Almost said epic, but I hate when people say epic. Okay, that door's open. Not gonna go in there yet. Don't really need to. Let's do this again. Stand on the wheel as we spin it. Makes a ton of sense. Why is there a mechanism to make a big pillar go up and down? I don't know. Monkeys install strange things in the places where they hide out. Because I'm sure none of these existed beforehand. Oh, okay, we're already on top of the castle. This just, yeah, makes a shortcut. Then, uh... You pose no threat whatsoever. There's some hard tech if you need it. And over here is... I don't really know what to call this. A time capsule, maybe? But, uh, basically, try as you might, you will not be getting through this. It's very obvious that there's a monkey inside it, but you can't actually look at its info, and you can't break it open, and you can't, like, cheat the system by clipping through it or anything. So you just have to come back later when you have the right item for it. And, uh, what does this lead to? Apparently nothing. I think I know what it leads to. I guess the button to open it is somewhere else. Because I want to say that that's where you go at the end. So, whatever. I guess I just gotta head into that central room. And why do I hear a monkey? Wait, is there... Wow, that thing was hiding really well. Managed to somehow stay out of the camera, like, at all times. Whatever. Suicide. Or not. I'm assuming that's everything in this room. I should use the radar to be sure, though. Yeah, that's it. If there were any in here with the L2 button on the bottom, the screen would be flashing. Okay, let's see what we got in the throne room. You are not the king. I'm also lucky to be grabbing these things so quickly, because they would probably put up a lot of a fight if I didn't. These enemies are annoying. Um, well, we've got a gunner somewhere. Let's see. No. Oh, there we go. I hate having to keep switching items. I don't really need to have the stun club equipped at all times, but it's too helpful to not have. And I use the flyer all the time, too. Basically, the one that I'll want to get rid of is the super hoop, but since it makes you go fast and I'm kind of trying to get as much stuff as... That was fail right there. Um, as much stuff done as possible in one segment it is helpful for that sort of thing. Didn't even see me coming, because he has no sort of... Damn it, now I can't think of the word. Peripheral vision. Or ears, apparently. I love how the AI in this game is really, really bad most of the time, and then once in a while it does a bunch of crap that you would never expect it to do. How many monkeys do I have now? Uh, two, three, four, eight, eleven. Actually, I thought I had more by now, but it sounds about right. I don't want to kill you. You're annoying. Yeah, don't please don't knock me off the edge. That wouldn't be nice. Okay, so anyway, this thing uh, creates a shortcut back to the start, but I'm just going to go over here. And this is... Oh yeah, this room. I remember this room. This is probably where I'm going to have to stop the segment, but uh, yeah, it's sort of a really long, or really tall, it's like a torture chamber or something. We've got the guillotine here, but I think there's other stuff. 
Guillotine isn't really torture, that's more like flat-out killing people. And is it guillotine or is it guillotine? Because I've heard people say it guillotine before, but I don't... They might just be dumb. I don't know. Whenever somebody is dumb, it's usually me. But, yeah, whatever. Okay, very easy to find Spectre Coin over there. And if it'll let me jump to it, that would be nice. Let's grab this guy before he can do anything about it, or not. How do I even get back up? I'm almost out of time anyway, but, uh, there's sort of a mini-boss over there. You saw it for a split second, I guess. Let's see if I can manage to catch this monkey in the last ten seconds. If not, then no big deal. Nope. I'll get that one next time. See you then.